In Lab 1, Part 2, we will perform the initial setup of Networker Management Council, create a new local user, and then configure Networker Management Council to authenticate Active Directory users. We're going to start the Networker Management Council. We're going to the Start menu, click All Programs, EMC Networker, and Networker Management Council. Click Start. And we'll go ahead and select Later here because we have a valid version of Java that's supported by Networker 9. In the Username field, we'll type Administrator. And then the password that we selected or entered during the installation, select OK. In the End User License Agreement, we'll select Accept. And Next. And here you'll notice for the Authentication Server Service, the authentication server is nwwindows.emc.edu. Click Next. And the networker server that we want to use for backing up the NMC is the same name, nwwindows.emc.edu. Select Next. And for networker servers, we'll enter the same host name. Select Finish. And we'll go through a process of completing the configuration and starting the Networker Management Council. So we'll select Setup. And Users and Roles is displayed. We'll click Users and select New. And we're going to create a new local user for NMC. And our username is going to be local user1. First name local, very creative here. And last name user. It will belong to the users group. The NMC role will be council user and we will enter a password for this user. And we'll select OK. So as the lab guide is mentioning, in order to allow the networker authentication service to authenticate users in Active Directory, we have gone ahead and created a group called Networker underscore admins that contains two users that's been pre-created in our Active Directory. So now we're going to open a command prompt The command that we're going to run is called LDAP config.bat. This is pre configured with the command that we will run that will configure the networker authentication service to authenticate users in our Active Directory. So, just to save time, we've gone ahead and pre configured that command. And here you can see the display of the command. It's quite long. With me typing, it's liable to be typed in wrong, so it's best to have it pre-configured. And we created it successfully. So what we've gone ahead and done is we are now able to use the external directory to validate or authenticate our users. So we want to validate our configuration, so we're going to query the Active Directory using a command called authc underscore mgmt. So we want to navigate to that directory, so it's cd 
program files slash emc networker slash nsr slash AUTHC dash server slash bin. We'll execute the auth C underscore management command as administrator and our password. And we're going to query the LDAP users. The query returned seven records, and you'll see the names over here on the left column. Administrator, Guest, KRBTGT, T. Duncan, T. Parker, K. Leonard, and D. Green. So now we're going to return to the Setup tab in NMC. And we'll select NMC roles here. And we'll right click the console application administrator and select properties. We're going to add our networker underscore admins group to this role. You notice that local user one is a member of the local users. We added that user in the previous step. And now for external roles, we want to add our networker underscore admins. So we'll type CN equal networker under admins, CN equal users, comma, DC. That's the name of our domain controller, EMC dot, oh, comma, sorry, DC equal EDU. Select OK. And now we have added that user group to the external roles directory. Or I'm sorry, to the external roles property. Now we're going to switch to the enterprise window. And here we'll launch networker administrator application. And first we want to switch to the server window and select our user group, so we'll move this over. And we want to right click on an application administrator, so we'll move this over so we can see the name of it. Right click, select properties, and we want to add our local user to external roles so that it will be managed by the token authentication. So we'll select local user one here. OK. And OK again. And now we're going to close these windows and log in as local user one. So we'll start Networker Management Console. Select Run. And let's log in as local user one. And the password. Select OK. And you can see that we can log in with that user. So let's close NMC again. 
and this time we'll log in as one of the members of the Networker Admin Group. emc.edu and we'll pick T. Parker student select OK and you can see here that we're logged in under the emc.edu domain so it used the external authentication and the username is T. Parker. In Lab 1, Part 2, we performed the initial setup of Networker Management Council, created a new local user, and then configured Networker Management Council to authenticate Active Directory users. This is the end of Lab Exercise 1. In this lab, we installed Networker 9 in a new environment. Additionally, we configured user authentication for the Networker Management Council using both local and active directory authentication mechanisms.